Protesters marched through the streets, promising to shut down Atlantic City during the busy 4th of July holiday weekend. The event, scheduled just days after casinos were given the green light from the governor to reopen after being closed for nearly four months due to the global COVID-19 pandemic. To our loyal guests and team members, welcome home. We've missed you. Atlantic City resident Stephen Young organized the protest, vowing to shut down the seaside resort due to systemic racism in the city. This isn't about George Floyd. This isn't about black issues in the city of Atlantic City. This is about Steve Young. So we're going to call it, you know, for what it is. The American Legion riders who said they support peaceful protests rode into the city to protect the military monuments during the march. The protesters walked by many of the monuments without incident as they made their way to the top of the Albany Avenue Bridge where they were first warned that they could be arrested. When they walked onto the Atlantic City Expressway to stop traffic from entering the resort town, officers moved in to arrest them, including Young. Now the mayor is determined to remove Young, who orchestrated several protests, including the 4th of July march, from his appointed positions on two city boards. I have started the process for removal for Mr. Young from the Atlantic City Planning Board, where he serves as chairman, and the Citizens Advisory Board for the, uh, dealing with the Atlantic City Police Department. It's a process. It's a process that will take place. We will do it expeditiously, and we're not going to tolerate someone trying to hijack our city, its residents, its visitors, and its businesses. Reporting in Atlantic City for New Jersey News Network, I'm Veronica Dudo.